I'm Jody Lee, and I will be explaining. So, um, okay, we need to do this one. So, so in this I box, made this we have this thing that moves, and it's so like called a mark. universe in a box, and, and it has constellations on the side. So, so if you turn it, first enough, question so is what time of year do you see November? So here's what the inside of the box looks like. So I turn it to November. Turn it to summer. And right over on our piece of paper that we got, summer has Scorpius. So, oh no, I was wrong. If you look up here, it's June that you can go to. You'll flip it. You'll um, so, move this you go to June, summer. And you just look up. You can see so, Scorpius we got right it here. to so that's the summer it, and it's dry. So, what time is it? It's early recording. I'm adding a question. Remember, this video is to me. So don't get Rick crabby that I'm interrupting you. I'm adding a question to the board, so be prepared. Keep, keep recording while you wait. So the next question okay. is, what so, constellations okay. can you see Mark? What constellations? Why can you see Orion? So let's okay. go ahead. And that, I need the book. So you can't see Orion in the summer because let's say Orion is right here, like the constellation is here and like Earth is here. And like, it's not Mark. Um, in Ethiopia, you'll be able to see Orion right here, so but then when Ethiopia moves over see, here, so you'll see a constellation. Here. Constellations? Um, and and so, so that happens that one, which is Leo the Lion. You'll see Orion here. So and Orion, in the stars, the like, the Earth, like, it's not like this. And so Orion is in the next one. So I'm going to go to the next one. So I'm going to go to the next one. So I'm going to go to the next one. So I'm going to go to the next one. The other ones you answered already. So the Earth moves. And then America is like moving over here, and then they see like Leo. What was that? It was why can't we see Orion in the um, in the summer? Okay, so oh, winter. Thank you. Oh. What can and so or why can't it's like see Orion in the summer? Let's say America saw Orion, so, right? And then America moved Orion as it's rotating around the Earth and sees the, now it sees the stars in that yes. direction. But now there's China, Orion. Well, so Japan in winter. will be seeing and Orion. That month is January, and then so you can see it'll go Orion again, in and go again, June, and then and it starts up there, part of and then it starts and up there, and then it starts up here, and then America will come back again, and it'll see Orion again. So it happens once every year. So, so it's like that's Orion, and then it moves a little, Orion, and then it kind of sees Orion, and then so it doesn't see Orion, the and then it doesn't, and like other constellations, other constellations, other constellations, other constellations, other constellations. you almost see Orion, you see Orion, you don't see Orion that much, so you don't see Orion in the beginning. So it'll go around here every single time. So, um, and somebody definitely did not see Orion. Explain what it is. Daytime so, on Earth. That is why the best. Because um, the way that the Earth rotates, whatever you have that the Earth orbits the sun. It, or, it like, so, orbits the sun. We know that the Earth orbits the sun. That's what creates Because we know that the Earth moves due to the constellation. So, um, but we know that the Earth is the sun moving. Is this is too big to be here, with, but like. And the Earth is. Um, so we have our sun, and like, let's say this is the sun, right? Let's say that we know the Earth orbits the sun because let's say over here is Orion, and this side of the Earth is facing Orion. So we know that it moves because if, if it does this, now the this is the nighttime of the Earth, and so it'll see these, and Orion will still be over here. I know you're explaining, but reload that page so that you have the new updates. Okay. You can keep recording. That's what creates. Okay. Um, so that's why you cannot see Orion and the summer, spring, and autumn. Well, the is reloading, but I'm just looking up there right now and it realizes. So I keep forgetting the question, but that's why we cannot see it because of the way that the Earth is We know that it revolves around the sun because it's star constellation that helps us. And that's because we get on, go back to explaining it, I'll be explaining. If the sun is here, the Earth is here, and, it's and the sun is shining its rays under the sun. This side, let's say, this side sees Orion, and then I'm making up a constellation, but we know that it has to move, and the sun will stay, and so this side, well, 
the sign. So it was all time. And then it's Our not like this, this, and now this side down here, here, it'd be like no this. Star. And so we saw over sun. here, and, and now we're seeing all the way over so here. So we can't see that because we're not going to travel to the other side of the And, well, and so, so let's say we see Scorpio over here, which we probably not sure how it is. And let's make it And then it'll move around over here, and we'll see another constellation, and then it'll move around over here. I can't move my hand that far, but it'll move around over here, and then we'll see these. And then it'll go all back to a light. And so we know that it has to move because we see the different constellations every time, and they always start. And balls. So that's why that when it is daytime on Earth, we are facing the sun. Where the sun is. It's still going, so. Um, explain it. When it is daytime on Earth, we are facing the sun and we see no stars other than the sun. And then show how when it might not be nighttime on Earth, we are facing away from the sun with the stars. I'm going to reread the question because I'm not sure if it's right. Explain that when it is daytime on Earth, we are facing the sun and we see no stars other than the sun. And, and then show how when it is nighttime on Earth, we are facing away from the sun and we can oh. okay, I kind of get the question. I think it's like constellations. Um, so, and if we... Okay, when it's daytime, we're facing the sun, right? So the light rays are there. There's still stars around us. The sun is just so... It's so overpowering. Like the little tiny little dots of brightness. It's overpowering all of those. And so you only see like the sky and the sun. And then when it's nighttime, the Earth has like moved enough for it to be nighttime. And so the Earth and so the moon comes out. Now the sun is on this side, and like the Earth, this side of the Earth is blocking it from this side. And so the sun is overpowering the bright rays. And so we can see all the little tiny brightness of the stars. And then again, when it turns daytime again, it turns daytime again, and then it'll be um, it'll overpower the stars' brightness again. The stars, well, like the stars that we see every day, like the little tiny ones. Um, you see bigger ones, but they're the so far away. The sun just overpowers them so much in its brightness that it it much shines in the sun. But then at nighttime, the moon doesn't overpower the sun because it's not um, really really bright. We can stare at, at it, and so we can see all the little things. I'm pretty sure that's the question. I'm not sure if I got that. I'm not sure if I got that correct. Um, it was a little bit. Now I'll be explaining how different stars are visible. Explain how different stars are visible at different times so, of the year. Well, I'm kind of already there. If we use the box. If the star. So, let's say. Let's say that. Let's say it is. Let's say. It's autumn. It's right? It's spring. And we look at April. October. And we see all the little tiny stars. Right? It's spring. And we look at April. October. And we see, like, a part of the little zipper and Leo and ice cream cone and things like that. And then. When, we when see the seasons change, we see but the earth moves. Moves. We know the earth is from the and the walls and whatnot. And so when it moves, it's like moving this way. Probably this way. I'm not sure. Moving this way. And then we'll be faced. And then, we'll be faced, and then it'll be July, and we'll be facing a different way in the in space. And so then we'll see the teacup and the scorpions and then Lara or Lara. Um, I'm so not sure if I got that. stars are visible, like sometimes. Um, and then and so it'll like the Earth, so the brightness, darkness, and brightness will move this again. This is the Earth, and that's the sun. And then it'll be October. So we're in October, and, and we we'll see those we'll see Sorry, Pegasus. Pegasus. One. Then we move. And then we move. Sorry about my hand. And the crown. But we see sun and dry, and so we'll see all of those. And the summer month, and that's just because when the earth rotates and like the seasons change and whatnot, we're seeing different stars because we don't stay in the same place and have seasons. Seasons just Laura, be like, okay, time to switch. Time to switch. And we're moving around the sun, and that's what's changing our weather. And, and so our weather is so, affecting our sights and seeing the stars.
Um, and so that's yeah, our how visible at different times of the year because of the way that the Earth revolves. Okay. And um, explain how the way that the Earth, 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 Earth orbits the sun. The Earth. same stars become visible it's at like the same point in the Explain I a little bit. But, um, explain how as the Earth sorry, orbits the sun, here, the same right, stars become visible so at the same point in that So that's why um, different stars are visible at different times. Explain here as the Earth Just because of the way that the Earth revolves around the sun and the way that the moon falls, it goes so then you can see winter is. Or winter. Okay, I don't really get the question, Autumn. but I think I can figure Sorry, it out. Stop. But it just makes sense thing. because of the way that I think it means when, when let's say the Earth is somewhere Earth and then rotate? it rotates around the sun, sun and, and you see these constellations and it rotates and it rotates and it rotates and it rotates and we see the same constellations. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. So and that's because the stars don't move. Well, like, it's like some of them move in the last video. We the Earth like, we have some of them like the same but stars become visible at the same point. Like, I'm gonna say like the stars don't move. I'm just gonna say that because I'm gonna say that you don't move, but I don't like some do or whatnot. Um, it's just hard to explain. Like I know what it is. It's just hard to explain. I'm gonna say it's because the stars stay in the same place. So the Earth is moving. So the Earth comes over here. So the Earth comes over here, and there's still constellations waiting over here for a planet to run around it again. And the Earth comes over here, and the Earth comes over here, and then they can see it. Let's say it's Orion. So they see Orion, and then it does that again. And the next year they see Orion again. Explain how. So what? Think um, that the Earth orbits the sun. I don't know if I got most of those right, but I think I did. Uh, so that I'm a hard so to explain that. Exactly. If the um, stars are bye. rotating, or sorry, if the mm -hmm. Earth is um, rotating the sun, then you can see different things when the sun goes down, especially in one month. Right? So if the Earth orbits the sun, the same stars become visible. Because if you're in July, you're not going to see different constellations once you go a year from that July. So like, if you're in spring and you're in April, because we're in April now. So if you're in April, you can see the constellations. The, uh, how do you pronounce that again? Bulletus. Bulletus, I think, or uh, some major and Leo. So, um, uh, you can see those three constellations. And those certain three constellations, uh, you can only see in the spring month. Biotis. Biotis. It's biotis. Thank you. So, um, that's why if you're in April, you're not, and then you go around here, so it's been a year now, and then you're back in April, you're not going to see the constellations that you saw the year before, like you're not going to see Orion in April. So, I hope that kind of made sense. Um, bye. Thanks for watching.